we're going to do the shed design. First thing you need to do is go into your classroom, shed resources. We're going to download shed template. Click on it. It's going to say no preview. Just hit download. That's going to download the file that we need. All right. Next, we're going to go into Revit. Once it's loaded, click open in the upper left. We're going to go over here to my computer and we're going to go to your downloads folder. And there should be shed template. Open that up. You might have to update. First thing we're going to do is we're going to save this. Click on file. Go down to save as project. File, save as project. Go to my computer. Scroll to the bottom where your name is. Double click it. In here, I'm going to go and make a new folder right there. We're going to call it CEA. I'm going to throw a one on mine because I have multiple. You go into that folder. And down here, I'm going to type my name. Shed. Hit save. Now you're ready to go. Over on the left, we call this our browser. We have a bunch of files listed here. Let's hit the minimize button under ceiling plans. We're never going to use ceiling plans. Over here, let's double click floor right there. That's going to open up a new drawing. We're going to draw some walls. Go up to the architect tab, click on wall. Just like you've done in Fusion, click, let go of the button, and let's draw a box. Doesn't matter what size, as long as it has four walls and it is 90 degrees. After you're done with any tool, press escape, escape. Press it twice on the keyboard, upper left, escape, escape. Roll your mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to click on a wall. I now have a measurement. Notice that the blue line right here does not extend to the end of the wall. If I click on the center blue dot, it'll move in and all the way to the outside. Move it to the outside on both your walls. Make this dimension, left to right, 16 feet. Click on another wall so you can have the vertical dimension. Again, move the little blue dot to the outside wall by clicking on it. Change this dimension to 12 feet. Okay. Next to the 12, all right, click on your wall. Next to the 12 is this little icon. Click on that. And it changes your measurement lines. And then click on the black line. And we're going to lock it. Do that for your other wall as well. There we go. Click on this little thing. Click on the line. Lock it. Now you can't change your dimensions. Doing a great job. If you messed up anywhere, you can always hit this undo button in the upper corner of the screen and start over. All right. Now, we're going to set our walls. If I click on a wall and I come up here, it says generic 8 inch. So we're going to change that and scroll down. And we want shed wall with siding. Click on your wall. Change generic 8 inch to shed wall with siding. Do that for these three walls. Shed wall with siding. The final wall right here, this last one on the right side, we're going to make it a little different. Instead of shed wall, we're going to scroll up and we are going to pick brick on metal stud. Exterior brick on metal stud. Change it to brick on metal stud. If you notice, the wall got thicker. Let's go to our 3D view and take a look. We now have a beautifully drawn box. 
doesn't look like much. I don't see much brick. These options in the lower left, you can set the first one. This option, click on it, and you can choose fine, medium, or coarse, and that changes the level of detail. Let's set it on fine. The box next to it, this blue box, is visual style. Let's click on that, and we're going to set it to textures. All right, now it looks like wood siding and brick. Our shed is way too tall. Let's come down here to our elevations and double click east. Double click east. Notice that our roof line is at 10 feet. If we click on a wall and in our properties window on the left side, we see that it is 20 feet tall. You can either type in 10, which I do not recommend, or we can click unconnected and change that to roof level. Hit apply. Do that for all four walls. Click on a wall, unconnected, change it to roof. What this allows, if you go back to 3D, is if you ever want to change the size of your house, you can easily change your roof level over here to let's say 15 feet and then the whole thing will change to 15 feet. We're going to leave that at 10 feet. Okay, next we're going to add a floor. Let's go to our floor plan view and we're going to come up here to our architecture tab. We're going to come across to floor and choose floor. And now we are going to choose the exterior walls. Actually, before we do that, let's uncheck this box. That's going to allow the wall to go to the full outside. Choose the outside all the way around. Then the outside lines all the way around. And then hit this check mark right here, top middle. Hit this check mark, top middle. And now if you go to our 3D view and you were to rotate it, all right, by pushing the middle mouse wheel down and holding the shift key, you can rotate it. Middle mouse wheel down and shift key. We have a wooden floor. We don't want a wooden floor. Let's change the floor. Select the floor. And we're going to come up to our properties tab and click on it. We want it. A four inch concrete floor which does not exist so we're going to make it pick generic 12 inch pick generic 12 inch choose edit type right here edit type we are going to duplicate and make a new type of flooring duplicate let's call this four inch concrete four inch concrete Hit OK. Now we need to edit this and make it 4 inch concrete. For structure, let's choose Edit and we are now going to design our structure. So for the layers, where it says By Category, if you click on By Category, these three little dots show up. We're going to choose three little dots right here. Click on By Category, three little dots. We are going to scroll up to Concrete cast in place. If you can't see it, you might have to drag this a little bigger. Concrete cast in place. Hit OK. We're going to change our thickness to 0 feet 4 inches. 0 feet 4 inches. Hit OK. Hit OK. You now have a concrete 4 inch floor. See how thin that is? If you got lost, replay the video. At this point, we've been working for a while. Let's do a file, save, file, save. Next, we're going to add a roof. Let's go to our floor view. Come over here to roof. And the first thing we're going to do is have to pick our roof layer. Then we're going to click. See how the line moves in and out? 
we are going to click on see the blue lines on the outside of our wall. I'm going to go all the way around and do that, all the way around our house. Hit the green check mark. Let's go to our 3D view. And we have a flat roof. We don't want a flat roof. So I'm going to delete that. Let's try again. I'll show you why I did that. Click on roof. We're going to move it to the roof layer. Up here we have to choose define slope. We didn't choose a slope, so we got a flat roof. Once again, choose the outside of all of our walls. Hit the check mark. Let's go to our 3D view. We now have a hip roof. We don't want a hip roof. We got a hip roof because all four walls create this slope going up. So we're going to delete the hip roof. Let's go back to our floor. Roof. Move it to the roof layer. This time, define slope. We're going to choose the two longer sides first. Then we're going to uncheck define slope. And we're going to choose the two shorter walls. Hit the green check mark. We now have a gable roof. But we have a hole in our roof. So let's fix that. Click on your wall. And up here on the top, it says attach top to base. Choose that option. Click on the roof. Boom. Don't forget to do your sidewalls. Click on the sidewall, attach top to base, click on the wall. Do that for all of your walls. Wall, attach top to base, click on the roof. Fantastic. You are doing absolutely fabulous. Our roof is not looking correct. Let's click on the roof in our 3D view, and we're going to change the material on the left to wood rafter, 8 inches, asphalt shingle, insulating. Now our roof is made out of wood, and it looks like asphalt shingles. Fantastic. Next, we're going to put a door in. Let's go to our floor. And up here under architecture, we're going to put a door. Click on door. And then this allows us to pick different doors. We want a single flush door. And we're going to do oops, a 32 by 84 door. And we're going to come over and put it on a fat wall. Just like that. Press escape, escape. If you click on your door, after you press Escape, Escape, you'll be able to move it so you can center it perfectly. All right, there we go. It's pretty close. And then these arrows allow you to move the door. Oop, move this measurement out of the way. Ah. All right, move the door to an outside door or an inside door. And this arrow, you can switch it left and right, which way it swings. Go to our 3D view, and look at that, we have a beautiful door. Finally, let's add some windows. We click on the window button, and from our drop down menu, we're going to pick a double hung window, and it doesn't really matter which one you pick, and you're going to place those out here. Now, notice the sill, you want it to be like set up. I'll show you the difference. There's one way, and there's the other way. Escape, escape. So you see how one is this way and they're opposite? If we go to our 3D view, we want it with the white on the outside. That's the vinyl, and the brown is wood. You don't want to put wood on the outside of a window. So we can go in, and if we click on this window, we want these double arrows on the outside. Okay? Install three windows with the arrows on the outside. Okay, escape, escape, we get done. I'm going to move this guy over a little bit. Move this guy over. 